110. Hercules and Achilles. Once upon a time, the river god Achilles told Theseus and his friends how he had fought Hercules, the son of Alcmena and Jove, for the hand of the lovely virgin Deanira, daughter of King Oneus of Caledon. Several suitors had approached Oneus to claim the hand of fair Deanira. When Achilles and Hercules also laid their claims, all the other suitors promptly withdrew their claims. Achilles boasted of his kingdom of water that nourished the land of Caledon, while Hercules boasted his descent from Jove and the glory of his labors. Achilles asked Hercules to prove that he was the son of Jove, or confess that he was a son of shame. Hercules answered that his hand excelled his tongue, and full of invented wrath, he challenged Achilles to a fight. A fight ensued, and both stood their ground, defiant not to yield. With postures bent forward, pressing each other with their foreheads, they locked arms. Like in the pasture, two strong bulls rush at each other to gain some pretty cow. Similarly, Hercules and Achilles fought for the beautiful Deanira. Hercules proved to be more mighty and forced Achilles to bite the sand. Achilles, using deception, changed his form to a snake. Hercules laughed and said that it was the pastime of his cradle days to kill snakes. He also recounted how he had killed the Lernaean snake, which grew two heads for every head that was destroyed. Then, extending his hand with great speed, Hercules grabbed the serpentine neck of Achilles and squeezed it. Unable to breathe, Achilles changed his form to a bull. Hercules caught hold of the horns of the bull, and turned the horns so that the head of the bull turned, until the bull helplessly fell on the ground. Hercules with his mighty strength, tore off the horn. Achilles accepted defeat and Hercules won the Anira. The Naiads preserved that horn, heaped it with flowers, delicious fruits, and called it as the sacred horn of plenty.